Okay, y'all, so we, we're doing the seven day juice cleanse. We just wanna come on and show you exactly what we're gonna be doing. On the last day, we're gonna do a juice video to show you like a couple juices that we like, maybe three or four, but three for sure. These are the glass bottles that we're gonna use. We're gonna have three a day. And then this right here is like a, we got these from Amazon. We're gonna do like ginger shots and turmeric shots out of there. So if y'all need it, we'll link it below. Um, so everything is organic. <clears throat> everything that we have here is organic. We don't really get nothing if, if it's not organic. At least we try to. Unfortunately, the key limes are not organic because we could not find any, but it's okay because we're only using it for our water. So just a fun fact, if you're not able to afford alkaline water, you're not able to find it, you can use key lime and key lime turns your water alkaline. So everything here is organic except <clears throat> excuse me everything here is organic except for the key lime and every time everything that's organic should always start with the nine i'm not sure if y'all can see that but if it starts with the nine it's organic so right here we have our ginger we have our turmeric we got our key limes we got our lemon we got our oranges we have our grapefruit we have our papayas it was a really good deal on these um they were like how much like two no, 169 a pound, 149 a pound for organic. You can't beat that. Then we have celery right here. We have the red kale. We have the mint right here. The mint inside the juices is OD. <clears throat> it's just so refreshing. Got the mint right there. Then right here, we have the dandelion greens, red and green. And then right here, we have the organic parsley. We have the green apples got the cucumbers we got the pineapples so in the morning time the first thing we're gonna do is before we do anything for one you should always have a bowel movement before you you know consume anything so first thing we'll be having either ginger or peppermint and then I think my sister's gonna like make like a burdock root tea so we'll do that at night so that's the first thing you're gonna do in the morning when you wake up is have your tea first thing first so i just kind of want to show y'all like for all of this and if you're in atlanta we went to, we, we like to go to the um decals farmer market i know there's a lot of more we need to go try them out but this is my favorite one by this far has some really good deals um you just gotta catch them so for all of that it was 144.12 and like i said you can't really beat that because we got over probably like 20 cucumbers because we got more cucumbers over here as well and then we got four papayas and papayas is usually high so you can't really beat all this for 144. this should last us through the seven days um i'm excited i just feel like no matter if you're vegan or not our body needs a break from eating sometimes and me and my sister were just at that point like i got tired of chewing it's crazy that sound i just got tired of chewing food i just feel like my, you i know when my body needs a reset so i need a reset and plus we're leaning more towards plant-based so like the mock meats and all that, I'm, I'm slowly but surely getting away from it. I'm trying to master my walnut meat. I'm using a lot of jackfruit, um, a lot of lentils and stuff. So yeah, I'm, I'm getting away from the mock food, going more towards plant-based. So this is just gonna help me get my body a reset. So yeah, I just wanted to show y'all, hopefully somebody can join it. You know what I'm saying? Let me know if y'all wanna join it with us or next time if y'all need like some recommendations because we do this a lot. Like we don't do it like just because it's like the first of the year or things like that. We just try to do it. How often do we do it? I'll say like at least once a month. Yeah. Once a month. Like I feel like we even if it's not seven days, five or three or something, three days at least. You know what I'm saying? It just helps balance your body out. So yeah, I'm like super excited to share this with y'all. Um we've been we've done this multiple times and ever since we got our juicer, like we lit juicing has become a part of our life. Like we literally we have a juice every single day. Like it's not a day that we don't have a juice. Like juicing is a part of our life. And we have the Nama J2 juicer. I, I want to invest and get another brand of juicer, but the Nama J2 is cool. Like it's a slow press. Um, it was, I think it was like six something, 600. So it's a nice uh, <clears throat> beginner juicer. But yeah, I'm excited. As you can tell, see, I feel like I got some mucus in me and it's got to come out. So this juice cleanse is going to be perfect for that. But thank y'all for watching um like i said on the seventh day y'all will see us live in action we'll do a couple juices for you four but if not four three for sure so we'll see y'all next week thank you for watching
I'm saying, I'm what you're saying is some real stuff. So I want people to be able to understand this. This is coming from somebody that have diabetes. Like you don't yeah, have to I do mean, that. I, I am a diabetic. I'm, I'm, I am. I'm not insulin dependent, but I've been a diabetic. I was diagnosed with diabetes 22 and a half years ago. Them bitches told me to take a thousand milligrams <laughs> a day, and I told them no. I'm going to take a 500 milligrams, one pill a day, and I'm going to stop taking it. Period. I don't care what they say. I'm not doing what they tell me to do. I, I, I trust them to leave. And God, I said, I'm not stupid. And then, uh, I, and then I said, uh, my thing is, Ty, okay, answer this question. Okay, back in the, the yeah, 1800s, yep. the 20s, the 40s, the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, these people live to see 70 and 80 years old. They didn't have all this stuff. Because you know why? How they live to see 70 and 80? Now they're going to take pills to live. You know why? Because the... Because the people back then, they was farmers. They knew what they chickens, they knew what they was feeding their chickens and cows and stuff. Yep. They wasn't yep. injecting them with all this stuff that this that this world made meat is. And and yep. a lot of those people back in the day, Kim, they didn't eat meat like that. You know what I'm saying? They couldn't afford meat. They had beans and rice. They got their protein they and stuff from like vegetables. They had, they had oatmeal, they had grits and beans. It was, that was our survival kit. We, because we couldn't, really as black folks, we couldn't afford meat. They gave us scraps. They ate, they ate, they ate the good part, like the lamb and the and the uh the chops and all this stuff we had the fucking scraps from the bacon we had uh what else they uh, we had like uh like pork chops neck bones all that that was just a little scrap that they gave uh black people you know what I'm saying? they had the, they had the fatty meat they had the good meat of the land you know what i'm saying it's like chillings and all that stuff that, that we eat you know what i'm saying but at the end of the day i don't care what nobody say the medicines is man-made and the medicines is what killing people this medicines is what getting people cancer and diabetes and uh, lupus and all this stuff, all this stuff come from the medicine. These folks weren't getting all this stuff back in the day. They talking about all the new technology and, and, and then all these mammograms and all this old chemical stuff, machine stuff they use, talking about checking your breast for cancer stuff. Them folks didn't have this stuff back in the day and they did just fine. And then these people sit up here giving their kids Infamil, Similac, and I'm guilty of that too when your body, God made your body to produce milk on its own to feed your children and you give these children these Similac and, and um, and the infamil and stuff, that's how they be getting gas and all this old hive and all this other natural milk come from the woman's body. God mm -hmm. made us like that. Mm -hmm. And they giving it, all these chemicals and shit is fucking us up. I'm telling you, all this man-made shit is fucking this world up and it's fucking us up. And so people come, in, so people come to realize, you know what I'm saying, that they're going to leave this manly, worldly stuff alone and go back to the roots.